Bezos founded Blue Origin in 2000. Two years later, tech entrepreneur Elon Musk founded SpaceX. In those two decades, the gap between the two has widened. SpaceX has launched 130 missions, most of which went to orbit, while Blue Origin has launched 15 test missions to suborbital space. Today, we will tell you about Blue Origin's BE-4 engine manufacture is a complete fail. No way to beat SpaceX and Elon. 5. With further delays to BE-4 rocket engine Blue Origin is unlikely to deliver two flight-ready versions of the BE-4 rocket engine to United Launch Alliance ULA, before at least the second quarter of 2022, two sources say. The COVID epidemic has affected them and their supply chain and is just taking a little bit longer, but they're doing very, very well. There's been no problems with them, and in fact, we're doing the final testing, or what we call certification testing. And that is just going really, really well. This increases the possibility that the debut flight of ULA's much-anticipated new rocket, Vulcan, could slip into 2023. Vulcan's first stage is powered by two BE-4 engines, which burn methane and are more powerful than the space shuttle's main engines. The sources said there recently was a relatively small production issue with fabrication of the flight engines at Blue Origin's factory in Kent, Washington. As a result of this, the engines will not be completed and shipped to the company's test stands in West Texas until next year. Once there, each engine must be unpacked, tested, and then reconfigured to be moved to ULA's Rocket Assembly Facility in Northern Alabama. A reasonable no earlier than date for the engine's arrival at the rocket manufacturer is now April 2022, and this assumes a smooth final production and testing phase. 4. A lot riding on these engines. ULA declined to comment on specifics about the production issue. However, the company said it was disappointed that it did not receive these two flight engines in 2021 as anticipated. We are disappointed that we will not be receiving Vulcan flight engines from Blue Origin by the end of the year, but they will be arriving early next year, the company said in a statement. The certification program is moving along very well and the production engines are being manufactured. We look forward to Vulcan's first launch in 2022. However, it now seems far from certain that Vulcan will make its debut in 2022. And there is a lot riding on this rocket and its timely debut, which will replace both the Atlas and Delta rockets that ULA has flown. The US military is counting on Vulcan to lift about 60% of the nation's national security payloads into space from 2022 to 2027. Due to delays in development, at one point the Vulcan rocket was expected to debut in 2020, the US Space Force and ULA have already agreed to move the first military mission assignment to Vulcan, designated USS F-51, onto an Atlas V rocket due to reliance on the Russian-built RD-180 engine are allocated to other missions. It is not clear, therefore, that other military missions can be moved off of Vulcan and onto Atlas. Assuming the BE-4 engines arrive at ULA in April, the company would have about eight months to prepare the rocket for a test flight in 2022, which will carry a small lunar lander built by a private company, Astrobotic. This is the first time that ULA, which was formed out of the launch divisions of Boeing and Lockheed Martin in 2005, has taken delivery of a brand new first stage rocket engine as part of booster development. However, when Boeing and Lockheed first used the RS-68 and RD-180 engines for their Delta and Atlas rockets, it took an average of 19.5 months from engine delivery to first flight. Vulcan is not expected to require this much time to incorporate the BE-4 rocket engine, however. During a reporter's roundtable in December 2020, ULA Chief Executive Tori Bruno explained why in response to a question from ARS. Earlier that year, ULA had taken delivery of Pathfinder engines, which are nearly identical to flight engines, but are not designed to be ignited. 3. How Jeff Bezos Fell Behind Elon Musk Brad Stone, author of Amazon Unbound, Jeff Bezos, and the Invention of a Global Empire, tells Inverse that he thinks Bezos' plan has taken longer than he thought. Stone's book reveals that the pair met twice to discuss their mutual interest, once in Seattle and once in San Francisco. Musk later told me that he thought it was cool that Jeff created Blue Origin and that there was someone else with similar philanthropic goals with regard to space and a lot of resources. 
He recalled their earlier meetings as friendly and remembered getting into a technical debate with Bezos over the merits of Blue Origin's planned fuel mix, which used peroxide, a compound used to decompose rapidly when exposed to sunlight. Beyond fuel, there were several key differences between the two firms. SpaceX aimed for profitability at a rapid pace, while Blue Origin aimed to gradually build technology to meet its goals. While SpaceX was determined to beat established firms to win government contracts, Blue Origin would use funding from Bezos to meet its goals. Blue Origin saw suborbital space flights for tourists as an important step toward expanding humanity's presence in space. SpaceX was far more focused on reaching orbit. Blue Origin's motto summed up this philosophy, Gratitim Ferociter, or step-by-step step ferociously. The pair also have different personalities. Musk, Stone says, is much more comfortable at standing on stage and giving undisciplined speeches. Bezos is less comfortable, more scripted, and he's never likely going to change. To Stone, the rivalry starts off friendly and has now morphed into an explicit competition. Elon, I think, enjoys it, he says. Bezos doesn't say anything about it, but you can imagine that he's kind of broiling a little bit. It'll be fun to watch these two duke it out over the next couple of decades. With the pair's conflicting versions of space, it could be a race to shape humanity's future. 2. In the news While we have often heard about SpaceX's missions and launches over the past few years, Blue Origin does not come out to be so ambitious in gaining traction. In the last two years alone, SpaceX has performed 21 launches, representing about 20% of roughly 100 worldwide launches. Recently, it also became the first private company to successfully launch its SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket into space. It is the first time ever that commercially developed space vehicles, owned and operated by a private entity rather than NASA, have transported humans into orbit. Musk's obsession with exploring Mars and other space is not unknown. Back in 2001, he came up with the idea for Mars Oasis and even pledged a few million dollars for the project. Blue Origin, on the other hand, has yet to launch anything into orbit. But its ambitions are not too different from SpaceX. Its rocket called the New Glenn is often the talk of the town, and the company is aiming to launch it in 2021. This rocket will be powered by an engine developed by the company itself called the BE-4. It was secretly found in 2000 by Bezos, but has gained attention only after 2015. It also worked on New Shepard, a vertical takeoff and vertical landing rocket that the company wants to use for human tourism. 1. Who wins? The billionaire space race is only a race by name. In actuality, there is SpaceX and everyone else. SpaceX has many firsts in its name, for instance, building and sending liquid-fueled rockets in Earth's orbit, developing a small launcher, successful launching, orbiting, and recovering spacecraft, developing the cheapest rocket, first company to send humans into space, and more. Blue Origin, on the other hand, likes to take smaller steps at a time. It has so far developed a suborbital capsule system, acquired the technology of reusable rockets with vertical takeoff and landing, made a two-stage orbital launch vehicle with New Glenn, and soon aims to send astronauts to the moon again. While SpaceX has sent many rocket designs to orbit and recently sent astronauts to space, Blue Origin is working towards it. It has till now flown suborbital rocket flights and is in the early stages of assembling its first rocket capable of reaching orbit. Despite Blue Origin getting a two-year head start, SpaceX was able to quickly ramp up and make a name for itself in commercial spaceflight. For a while, it seemed as though the two companies were running different races, with Blue Origin focused largely on space tourism, while SpaceX was in the exploration game from the jump. Both companies have proven themselves to be formidable at achieving their goals, getting people off the ground and returning them safely to Earth. In one very important respect, that is the only crucial measure for the success of a space program. Still, SpaceX has dozens more missions than Blue Origin, including consistent missions to the ISS, delivering both crew and cargo. At least right now, SpaceX is leagues ahead of Blue Origin, and the announcement of their involvement with the upcoming Artemis missions appears to cement that legacy. If the previous space race taught us anything, it's that getting boots on the ground is what people really care about. In the end, however, the competition between the two companies and their rivals has made space travel more affordable and more frequent. All things considered, the real winners are all of us. Do let us know in the comments what you think about both of them. Thanks for watching.